The Quran and the Islamic commentaries say that Christians believe in three gods. This is absolutely untrue. It is blasphemy in the Bible of Jesus Christ to believe in more than one God. The Gospel says numerous times that God is one. There is no support for three gods in the Gospel at all. Islam has distorted the truth in order to have an excuse to condemn Christians. Christians never interpret the Trinity in the Gospel to mean three gods. All interpretations and commentaries lead to believe in the one true God. What is the Trinity in Christian belief? It is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As the loving and forgiving God, Christians call Him the spiritual Father. As the establisher of His spiritual kingdom in our hearts and earth, He is called the Son. And as the protecting, assuring, and guiding God on earth, He is called the Holy Spirit. So the meaning of the Trinity is that the same God reveals Himself in three ways to us. We as individuals also have the similar kind of titles in our lives on earth. I'm called a son, a husband, a father. Though I am one person, I reveal myself in three ways or as three persons in order to express my love and responsibility in my family. This does not mean that I am three independent persons. I am one person, but manifesting myself as three. This is the same with God. God himself never needs these three names. They are all for the benefit of humanity. Humanity needs pure love, which is in God only. Since in our daily life, no love surpasses the love of parents toward their children, God calls Himself the Father, proving that He loves us with a parental heart even more than our parents. See how God describes His love and care in the Bible. So God's love is a parental love for us. He approaches us with an intimate and fatherly love to teach us what true love, justice, holiness, righteousness, peace, and joy are. For this reason, He is called the Father. God is also called the Son. The Spirit of God came upon Mary, and the Spirit was born of the flesh as Jesus. This means God revealed Himself in Jesus. God is able and He can reveal Himself in any way He desires. He revealed Himself as a fire to Moses and as a man in Jesus for us. Why does God want to reveal Himself? Why doesn't He hide Himself like the God of Islam? Because He has a heavenly plan to implement on earth. The heavenly plan can be engineered on earth by God only, since no one else knows the plan well as God does. Also as the omnipresent, teaching, comforting, protecting, assuring and guiding God, He is called the Holy Spirit in the Gospel. For God to be the only loving and Savior is not enough for humanity. We also need His continual presence to remind us and to protect us like a mother or father to hold our hands to the end of our journey in this world. This continual presence of God with us on earth is called the Holy Spirit in the Gospel. So the Trinity does not mean three gods, but the manifestation of one God in three ways. 
Therefore, the Muslim scholars' accusations of Christians are baseless. I will finish my talk with one more shocking and unbelievable accusation of the Quran. It says in Surah Tawbah, verse 31, Jews and Christians take their teachers and their monks as lords beside God. There is no such teaching in the entire Bible, nor in Jewish, nor Christian history. It is utterly a baseless accusation. The Gospel and Christians believe in one God only. When I was a Muslim, there was always cultural pressure on people like me to follow traditions, no matter if they were right or wrong. But I am so grateful that in one stage of my life, my mind and heart desired to look at life outside of Islam. It was then that Jesus revealed himself to me and changed my worldview.